I think this great city runs itself. I think it gets up, it goes to work, and climbs into bed at night just like we do. They're unaware of what it takes to make sure the whole damn thing doesn't break down. Crime, fires, riots, the goddamn water pipes bursting under the city. Christ, what a fucking mess that was. And who does the water commissioner call? The contractor who built it? No, he calls me. They all call me. God damn, that's terrific. They call me because I keep the peace. That's my job. This city doesn't burn because I won't permit it. I'm the great negotiator. But you think people get that? The truth is, I don't care. Dumb bastards don't even vote. All they want to do is eat, sleep, watch TV, and occasionally fuck their wives. Guess we should all thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. John, you need some new material. I've heard this great city speech 10 times already. Your boy Pinero's not honoring his side of the deal. Is that what this dinner is about, Pinero? In part. <clears throat> I told him what the deal is. He's a grown-up. What's the other part? I understand your assistant's been digging around in the Archbishop's financial affairs. Yeah, well. How much did you lose when he pulled the plug from South River, John? Let me tell you something. It's a mistake to stick your thumb in the eyes of the most powerful people in the city. It's not their eyes I'm aiming for. Do not fuck with me, Marty. Bursting again, John. <laughs> 